Hello everyone, my name is Luis Ramirez and in this video I will show you how to get started with Mender Gateway. Network segregation is common in many industries. It enables protection from potential virus and ransomware attacks to embedded IoT devices collocated within a local area network and separated from the public internet by the gateway device. Updating software to embedded devices in these segregated networks environments is challenging. Mender enables updating software remotely to segregated networks environments by bringing the Mender server intelligence and local storage capabilities to the network's edge. It allows remote software updates in complicated enterprise network topologies, all from a central Mender interface. It gives direct visibility and control into the entire network and its collocated devices in the network from one main pane of glass. Additionally, it lower costs by downloading and storing updates locally once on the gateway and then deploying to all collocated devices in the segregated network. In order to follow this tutorial, you will need to get already a Raspberry Pi configured with Mender. If you don't have one, pause this video and follow the Mender's quick start guide. Don't forget you can try Mender for free for 12 months, no car required. In this video, we are going to follow the getting started guide from the Mender docs. If your device is already configured with Mender, then you can click on promote a device to a gateway and then it will generate a code that you can copy and paste into the remote terminal. When the process finishes, you are ready to start using the Mender gateway and change or modify the configuration file of the Mender gateway. Also, you can check the service was created and is currently enabled. At this point, our gateway is ready. Now we are going to focus on configure the different nodes. First, we are going to gather the IP address of the gateway as we are going to use it as a parameter to configure the different nodes. As the device has two interface, I will use the second IP. Then, on our workstation, we are going to launch a Docker image that will act as a node. So we are setting some environment variables to launch the Docker image properly. Also, you need to set the tenant token that you can get from the Mender web interface under My Organization section. Now we are ready to create the QMU image that runs inside a Docker and will act as a node connecting to the gateway instead of the server. Some seconds later, the device will show up in the Mender web interface as a new device. This device is connected to the gateway instead of the server itself, and is the gateway that acts as a man in the middle that redirects the messages from the new QMU to the server itself. From this point, you can use all the features of Mender into the QMU device, including the remote terminal. And if you check the configuration file, you will realize that the node is pointing to the gateway address instead of the address of the server itself. It's important to mention that Mender recognizes which devices are gateways, so you can filter them and create even dynamic groups based on this feature. You can see more tests and examples in our documentation website. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to contact us for more information at contact at mender.io.